Hi guys, this is Manindra and welcome to the another video on your ethical hacking series and in this video we are discussing about port scanning after network scanning it is port scanning and what is it? It is method to identify whether the port is TCP or UDP and if that is TCP or UDP whether it, to, it is to determine whether it is open or closed. If that is open port we can have access, if it is closed we cannot. So there are different types of scans that helps you to identify this kind of port scanning so whether the ports are TCP, UDP or whether open or not since scan first of all we will be discussing as per the sort sorted method in here so since scan so it gets this if this port is open then we will get SYNAC so usually when TCP is trying it is helpful in identifying TCP ports so whenever the TCP connection needs to be established the uh, source sends SYN packet to the target and if the port is open it will get SYNAC so the acknowledgement that the synchronization packet has been received on the target so if the packet is closed it will get the reset packet if that is closed if filtered they will get no reply but usually most of the TCP ports are open either are open or closed like if it is FTP it will be opened after establishing the session the firewalls will start working on the packets whether it is a malicious packet or good packet so xmas scan so xmas scan derives the name from push urgen finflex and if you observe that the way they arrange makes it looks like a xmas tree that has been written and this works on the loophole that is present in rfc 93 of course it is disabled in most of the things so what it states is any TCP segment with an out of state flag set sent to open port that if the TCP packet is not in state and if it is sent to open port it will be discarded and if the same thing has been sent to closed port you will get a reset response back so that's how we can take advantage of it so if the port is open and the TCP packet is not as per the way it should be and it will be discarded if the port is closed it doesn't matter whatever the packet it is getting received it is a like uh, what is that customized packet or spoofed packet doesn't matter it will send you to it will send the closed packet that's how we can take the advantage to determine whether the port is open or not and it is famous because not only its speed to determine whether the port is open or closed and also the way it bypasses the filters and firewalls and in some hardware like very old hardware like Ethernet uh, ports and there you won't have RFC sign 793 confirmed in that operating systems and very old operating systems and drivers it will send reset reset packet to open port also if that is open port it will say as it has a closed port so that you should you have to be careful but nobody uses that and nobody is enabling this feature everyone disable this and null scan yeah, so the sequence number is 0 to 0 there is a space where TCP packet stores sequence numbers and it is set to 0 so it, it sometimes bypasses the firewall and if the port is open there will be no response sent if the port is closed the response is sent it, it's, it is it belongs to like what is that we discussed first one sin, sin scan sorry not sin express uh, yeah it, this one this null scan belongs to xmas scan because this is also malfunction because we are setting up the sequence number and fin scan sends with the finished flag and if the port is open it will send the reset if the port is closed no response because whenever the packet is sending finished flag that means that that is the end of the data so if that is the end of the data the uh, connection needs to be resetted the connection needs to be terminated so if that goes as per the way then the po if the port is open if it can't identify the finished flag it will can the sense the reset if it identifies the finished flag it will send the acknowledgement so close it, there will be no response sent and the idle scan is something like different thing so we will be sending synchronization and acknowledgement packet like like 
the way for example we have three systems one two three let me uh, one two three and we will be sending synchronization and acknowledgement back that means what it is a spoofed packet but at what ac actually has to happen is it should send the sin packet to this one and then it should reply with the sin and ac but directly we are sending sin and ac and ip id 2000 so uh, and source is this ip address okay you got it so once we get it the we will get the ip id so understanding this one what is the ip id with the synchronization and acknowledgement and we will be sending through this again from the this way to send these files to this one so that's how it works usually using another computer called zombie and whatever the way we are sending to this one and for example you can understand better in this in FTP bounce attack this is similar almost so step one is attacker opens the connection with another server and step two that to target server so after it will be sending a spoofed packet to connect to this server and once if there is intermediate transfer uh, and base here one second this will be connected to this and what this will say is what the attacker says for example if it sends the packet that to send me some text files and the way it sends the packets and the way it responses to this computer says determines whether the port is open or closed or it is TCP or UDP and once the he gets it you can download the data whatever that required but most not most hundred percent of the systems has been patched with this update nobody uses FTP bounds it's like like early stages it's like a kid is not even we have to cu customize the software and even we are we have we want to customize by default it is off so we have to if you want FTP bounce attack and if you want to practice on that you have to customize your operating system and that's it that's the thing i have for this video guys and don't forget to subscribe and this is mandrasam hadri signing off